She betrayed me, all right? She betrayed me. Most women prefer to put on their own makeup, sir. I don't care about most women. My wife used to let me put it on her. Well, she doesn't want to let you anymore. Let's cut through all the embroidery. What happened was your wife let herself go. That's right. She got fat. She went gray. Am I supposed to pretend that I didn't mind? This is the woman who kept house and cooked for you for the last 15 years. This is the woman who destroyed my nervous system, my digestive system, and any chance I'll ever have to get a decent night's sleep. He's a monster. If he's a monster, it's because you made him into one. I'm going to ask you this question one more time. Did you do what your husband said you did? Yes. Then how can you sit up there and ask for half his assets? Knowing him the way that I do, it's real easy. I want those children with me for Thanksgiving. Oh, so you're willing to have a six-year-old and a five-year-old fly 3,000 miles by themselves? What's the alternative? Grow up. In other words, you agreed to pay for your child's tuition. That's right. And now you're reneging. That's right. I'm reneging. You're not seriously suggesting that your husband turned your dog against you, are you, ma'am? Yes, I am. That dog relieved himself on every article of clothing I own. Sir, for right now, you are the witness and I am an attorney conducting cross-examination. You broads are all alike. You mean the mortgage and the tuition and the food and clothing? Everything. Under the terms of the separation agreement, you pay for everything.